Okay, vivid sunset glow, only one notch down in darkness because there's no sun and it's the middle of the year, roughly. And uh, two right, one down in the colour grid because we're on vivid sunset glow, of course, so it's slightly different to the night scene settings, which are very good during the day for some strange reason. <laughs> Something they probably... Oh, the old Kaipo... Kaipo buttercups. Though not on a of mass like they are down at Kaipo, which we'll probably see September time when they flower. Oh yes, another one of these with the lovely um, thorns and stuff on there. Oh, that's different. That's something. Uh, that looks almost a lot, looks like a mint or something related to a mint. And is it Sonkus or something? Or oh, I like that. I like the look of that compact one. Mm, very nice. Okay. Is it Sonkus or something? Got an unusual name anyway. One that's easily remembered. So, uh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that, that's lovely. So, uh, yeah. And, oh, look at, the, look at the banding on that. Oh, that's, yeah, look at the banding on that. Lovely banded form. And look at that. Oh, oh, that's the per oh, I think that's almost the perfect specimen. Well, at this time anyway. Yeah, so lovely. Oh, there's so many of them, fellas. Yeah, so many of them. Fantastic. Yeah. Slightly. Is that a slightly variation or not? on the leaves anyway. Okay. Okay. Oh. Anyway. We get halfway along here then I might change the setting back to um Wow, I think the warm glowing night scout was the best but maybe we'll have two goes at the two other settings. And we've got the old uh, creek liners here. The old liners pooling. <laughs> pooling as in P O O L I N rather than P A U L. Bit of a nerdy joke there, fellas. I know. Too little time and not enough banter. Idle banter, yes. Well, there was the occasional big one around this sort of section last year, but uh, maybe it just takes time for them to grow. But yeah, anyway, so I swing it. Oh, wow, for sale. Obviously, there's going to be a housing state on that side. Thank God it's not wide enough here to actually put houses, but they might try. It's probably too boggy, too, and probably there's probably some uh, regulations for not being allowed to, um, you know, damage that sort of get too close to the edge of a uh, oh, colour check on this we all know what the, the yellow on that the sort of municipal plastic yellow that looks like so that'll be a good check but uh, yeah we'll see how we go Okay, well, interesting, I don't know. Maybe I've just come too early this, se this, this season for uh, Baz's Urban Weed Patrol. But, uh, yeah, anyway, we'll see how we go, but uh, it's just I've noticed Baz hasn't been putting up too many clips of late. He did one about, I think it was like four months ago or something. Maybe he got a cold from that bloody uh, water challenge he did. <laughs> ha ha. And uh, <laughs> ice bucket challenge. Oh, yes, fellas. Yes. <laughs> the abominable mudman goeth. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ha ha. That's a brilliant one, that one. Oh, yes, I love that one. That's down at least three and a half to four inches at the tip. At the tip. Oh, what's this? Crime scene. Danger, danger, quicksand. Would be nice. 